what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully optimize your PC for Valorant with these best settings so you can get the most smooth FPS and the least delay as well. So hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive straight into it. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. So, to start off we're just going to head into Xbox Live. So just search up Xbox then go to enable Xbox game bar. Now you want to make sure that this is off and then head over to game mode. Make sure that this is on. Now just search up GPU and then head over to the graphic settings. Now make sure that this is on. Now just hit browse on here. So, we're going to be looking for Valorant. So, the easiest way to do this is just cancel out of this. And then, just search up Valorant. And hit on Open File Location. Then right click. And then hit on Open File Location again. And then head over to Rio Games. Valorant Live Shooter Game Binaries. Win64 and then when you're in here. Just copy this. And then we can head over into here and hit Browse. And paste in and we can just select this and hit Add. We're gonna head on Options and make sure this on high performance and then save now we can also do the other valorant they're gonna just go back over to live then click on valorant add options high performance and save so now go to my website i give link in the description and download the valorant secret fps boost pack and follow me search up process lasso and then we can just open up into this now head over to men and then go to active power plan make sure that bit some highest performance is checked and next make sure that performance mode is enabled as well then we can just x out of this as a next step guys i'm gonna recommend you the gr booster which you can trade for apps absolutely with the free. link in description just make sure that you launch the tool and select fortnite and it's gonna automatically find for you the best dns server in your near for the least amount of latency as you can see i only get 11 milliseconds latency. which is giving me already a huge improvement over 100% I've been using this for any game I'm switch. playing here right now on my PC and the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service it's consistently also showing you, you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure you check it with out with the link in description now just search your performance and then find adjust the appearance and formats of windows I just click on this so you can adjust this for the best performance Make sure that smooth edges of screen font is checked, and then you can hit apply. Now head over to advanced, and then make sure it just for best performance of programs selected, and then you can just hit okay. Then right click, and then press new, and then go to text document, name it, whatever you want, and then just open it. Then just type in clean MDR. Save this XL and you can just rename this. Make sure it ends with dot bat, and there we go. Now just run this as administrator. And then, we can just follow along with the steps. So this will just clean our drives. I've already done it so, I'm just gonna And you should be doing this. this about weekly or so. Just to make sure that all your drives are clean. The last step will be your Valorant configs. So, let's do the Windows R trick on your keyboard. By holding Windows and pressing R. And then do percent. Local app data and percent and hit OK. Now scroll down and then head over to Valorant. Saved config and you'll see folds that make no sense. So these are every single account that you've had logged into Valorant. So if you just want to edit the last account that you've entered into Valorant with, go to Windows and then edit this. And you can see this is the last account I've been in. So if I just want to edit this, then one, I'll be the one that's all of 6 OD. So I can just find the one that starts with open 6 this ID. One, then head over to Windows, then go over to Game User Settings.i. And I open this up, then scroll down. And make sure all of these are on zero. This is your render quality. So this should be on 100 at default. But I like 80 so I'm gonna leave mine on 80. And then just X out this right click it. Head over to properties. And make sure it read only is checked. This tool. So here. go to NVIDIA and select this option. Adjust image settings with preview. Then check the option. Use the Adivis 3D image settings and click on apply. After that select to the section manage 3D settings. Oh allows you to have better image equality. When you play with the lower resolutions, then your monitors default enable that feature. Select the option on, then choose a percentage of sharpening, and check the box or relay indicator. Ambient occlusion. Select performance in an isotropic futuring. Select application controlled in ATA losing FXA. I recommend that you select off ATA losing. Gamma correction on ATA losing mode. Select application controlled ATA losing transparency. Off background application. Max frame hate off include a GPUs. 
Select all of them the option. DSR factors. Allows you to use your upper resolution plane. See mode select ultra for lower input leg and frame time. In your games in the option of max frame heat. You can limit the FPS in your games. But if you want to do that, I recommend that you do it in each game individually. Through the section program settings, in OpenGL Rendering GP, you select your graphics card. Optimize for computer performance on Empower Management Mode. Select to prefer maximum performance shader cache size. Selected driver, default texture featuring in as a tropic. Simple optimization on texture featuring negative load bias. Select allow texture featuring quality. High performance texture featuring trilinear. Optimization on in Reddit optimization. Select auto in triple buffering. You can select on if you play with this sync. Enable in vertical sync. Select to use the 3D application setting. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames. Select one and save the settings by clicking on apply. After that select to the section. Configure surround physics in the option processor. Select your graphics card and lastly, save the change by click go settings. Go to the settings right there and go to the general tab right here. Go a little bit down till you see the raw input buffer and make sure this is set to on since this is gonna get you way less input delay. This is pretty important once you've done that. We are also done in the general tab and we can continue, continue going to the video chat right there. But if you actually get the want best performance of your game, I want you to set this to full screen. This is also gonna show you the refresh make rate. Sure this is set to your highest refresh rate possible. And once you've made these changes and set your display mode to full screen, we're gonna continue. The only reason why I'm not setting the full this screen right now is because I because I got a 32 to 9 monitor and it's gonna look really, really weird for you on YouTube. So this is the only reason I'm why I'm not setting this to full screen. But anyways, the next continue going to the graphics quality. You can basically set everything to low or off. Except the multi-threaded rendering. Want you to set this to on and everything else to low or off. Make sure to compare my settings again with your game settings for the anti-alerting and the nesotropic filtering. This is basically up to you, and you can play around with it in the range. But my personal preference, or what I recommend, everybody of you is setting this to MS, AA, 4 times, and the nesotropic filtering to 4 times as well.